Gaff a bit of a weird one. We're back in the hotel because of COVID, but about an hour ago we uh, we played a training game at Rangers. Can, give me your assessment on the game. Yeah, very good. Listen, obviously pleased with the lads, the attitude and application. You know, when you when you come away for a bit of a training camp, you want them to put the work in, yeah, and they have certainly done that as you've seen over the last few days. And then to to top it off with a game, you know, it's game against Rangers with some good footballers and some good players, and the pitch obviously was was crisp and lovely and. You know, to come away with no injuries first and foremost, and then to score two goals. Yeah, obviously disappointed with the goals we conceded, but again, look, it's it's early doors. We know where we're at. They had a great great team out, and you know, for us to pit our wits against them is is everything you need in pre season. Obviously, we we weren't at liberty to to discuss what their team was, and we won't do that now. But it was quite a strong team, and, and they they got at us in, in the first yeah. half. Were you were you pleased with the? Was it most pleasing the way that the team responded early in the second half? And got back yeah, into it? as you've said, Dan res- responded great. Uh, again, look when when you're playing a team like like Rangers, and you see players in the team, yeah, lads straight away go, Oof. and they want to try and be just as good as them. Now y- you can be just as good as players like that in your own way. You don't have to go about it in a different way. Uh, listen, we moved the ball well. We didn't move it early doors from side to side, nothing things up. Probably took one or two many chances in, in terms of the goals we conceded. That yeah, we can work at that. You know, we can stop that. It's coachable, which we know, which is pleasing as well. Because what we don't want is getting ripped open from teams, and they certainly didn't do that. But what they did do is the clever footballs, the rotation in the midfield, and we couldn't get to grips with it. But second half we did. We tinkered one or two things, and then as you see, you know, listen, the last goal, in the last couple of minutes was probably just a, a bit of a mistake. One of the lads has slipped, but for us to come to come away with no injuries. Some of them got 60, 70 minutes, 80 minutes even, big Frank, uh, in, on, under the belt, then, it, then it's always pleasing. You mentioned Frank, and obviously that was his first um, game for us, having signed for us, uh, Peninsula's first game. Lewis McLeod only joined us a couple of days ago, his first game, he had a couple of trials in there. How did you assess the the new players' impact? Today? Yeah, listen, again, it's tough singling out the, the lads, isn't it? Like single out on players, but I, you know, with them being new lads, people want to hear about them, and especially big Frank. Listen, he, he gives us a different dimension, he gets all of the ball, he can run with it, he can face it up. He's got different people look at Frank and because he's a big man, he, he's great in that aerial zone where he tells me now he's a very good header <laughs> defensively, so that's good. Uh, but again, look, his, his, his presence in itself, and you know, he probably could have had one or two chances, a little bit rusty, but we'll get that back. Uh, Lewis McLeod again was, was phenomenal on the ball and dictated it and Panucci has got energy and legs and runs with the ball and but again along with the other lads also you know there was there was a few you know good performers today uh, but the new lads especially what everyone's there about then yeah listen we're excited to have them and we're excited to be working with them. It's obviously still quite early bizarrely in your kind of pre-season games block but it seems as though um, the team with most of them having worked with you last year have got a really good understanding about the kind of dynamic and, and, and what's yeah. required of them. Are you, are you happy with the way uh, everyone's gelling and progressing in terms of tactics? Yeah, listen, th- we're going to have to do a little bit of work with, 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 um, with Frank. Frank played on the left or the right for, for Colchester. Um, Lewis is just going to take the ball wherever as a number four. He can he can see a pass, he's got to get the trust in people giving him the ball and he can open you know, passages of play up as you've seen today and his uh, touch and his passing and everything else that goes with his vision. Uh, and, and Panucci can come running behind, his energy, he's, he's brave, but these, these players will see how we play. We put a presentation to them yesterday before this game today of how we play and what we want, what our expectations are of the players. And it's always nice that they're gelling with the other players who are already here, who know the style of play, the philosophy, everything we want, the non negotiables. And yeah, listen, they're, they're only what, two weeks in Lewis, there's a couple of days in. So again, you know, what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we keep drumming it home, but not just to the, the new lads, it's to everyone. Everyone in the round, because it's not just about the new lads, it's about the, the, the squad, whether it's 20, 21, 22. Uh, and we'll make sure we continue to do that. But it certainly helps when you've got players who know the roles and responsibilities of what we had last season. That, you know, when new lads come in, they can give them the bit of the heads up. So, yeah, it's going well. Obviously, we had the game today, but this training camp is, is about more than just the game. You've had sessions, you've, you've had team building exercises, and so on. Um, how do you assess the mood uh, amongst the group at the moment? <laughs> Listen, the mood's great, isn't it? Again, we're, we're, we're big on togetherness, and you know we want to make sure we have that morale about about everyone, even with yourselves. And you know, to go, with lads went golfing and then kayaking and then banana boating, and you know, uh, it, it is good, and, and that's what gels you together. You know, we've had evening meals, lunches with each other. We're in our own bubble, watching the football together, 
and that's what brings you together. You know, like sometimes in training when you finish, you go home and you go into your house and you're there for six, seven hours, you'll go to sleep and then you're up the next day back into work. Over the last four days, so our lads are going to be with each other, so they'll get to know each other a bit more, a bit better, and that's why we do it, because it, it, it's very important for the way we want to work. From today's game and, and, and training camp you've had in the last few days, um, have you got a better idea of other areas of the team you want to strengthen before the start of the season? How far off are we in terms of your complete yeah, squad? Yeah, well, we hopefully get one or two more in, potentially three, uh, whether there's a couple of loans as well in there, but we want to make sure we've got, for me, and for the football club, we want to feel we've got the best squad we can have, and we'll certainly do that. We feel the squad's getting right there now. I think with two or three more additions, it'll be it'll be very strong, very powerful. We've also got youngsters who, who are with us now, who, who can challenge to to get into that squad, and we've all got, also got second year youngsters who second year pros now who want to challenge to get into the first team. So, really pleased with what we've got at the moment. Uh, obviously, we'll have Ryan Hardy back with us next week also. Um, so again, listen. You know, once we get one or two more in the building, I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll be fine. You've got, I think, a day left until until everyone flies back down to uh, to Plymouth. What's left on the agenda? Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> no, we'll we'll see how the lads are today. Obviously, we'll have some food and we'll we'll, we'll have a team meeting later on, maybe or, or first thing in the morning. And then, it, listen, it might be just a nice plod along the Clyde tomorrow, and you know, we get some crap out the legs, stop starts, and. You know, and then they'll, they'll fly back to to, to Bristol um, to late tomorrow afternoon. We'll give them a day's recovery because, as, as you've seen and as you've you've noticed, they've, they've worked the socks off. Uh, they always feel great after a day's recovery. So, and then we're back to it another week, and you know we're looking forward to a, a big week next week down in Plymouth. We look forward to that. Thank you. Cheers, Dan.